Whoa, you guys can't even see me. Okay. All right, hey YouTubers, Holiday Cheer One here, and uh, sorry about that whole awkward intro. Um, I'm filming in my living room, and it's been really hard um, getting lighting adjustments correctly because, like, look, you can barely see me right now, but there's, like, you can playing around, shutting the blinds, opening the blinds, and it's middle of the day, so I guess you can't really do anything about it. Um, and the reason why I'm filming in my living room is because I'm going to be doing a Holly Jolly holiday tag, and I thought it would be appropriate to film by my Christmas tree. Um, so yeah, and then I just kind of, uh, I did a new outfit of the day right now because I felt like I needed to be very, like, Christmassy. And this is the only thing I could find. So it looks kind of tacky with all the jewelry I have together, but you know what? Okay, it's all right. So let me just put this down where you can see my top. All right, so first, I didn't, okay, that's a little too, there we go. Okay, so first off, um, this is, yes, it looks too much, or it looks kind of big on me. This is because it's my mom's, and I had no red or green Christmas stuff, which is kind of sad. So, uh, jewelry in the way. Okay, so I just have this really, like, it's really big and loose, um, sh uh, red top, and it's got a little bit of lace up here. And then I paired it with this kind of green. I love this color green. Like, it's my favorite type of color green. I paired it with that and then just have some green on it and then with the jingling you're going to be hearing is this little like cute jingle bracelet and then this is um, just a red bracelet and I've got a red ring so I totally just wanted to go all Christmas colors red and green. Alright so then of course I just got my same like pants on or whatever that I had in my other video and my hair you guys is crazy like look at how crazy this hair is. So bear with me on the hair, and I'm going to go ahead and get this started, and we'll go sit down. All right, there we go. Make it quick. And I should also mention that I have Christmas music going on, because I thought I'd be kind of um, set like the mood and stuff, since this is a holly jolly holiday track. So, yeah, let's get into it. I hope this isn't bad lighting or whatever, but I have my questions on here because, of course, my laptop is way up there, and so, yeah. Alright, let's get started. Number, I should start from number one, like, because that would make sense. Um, there are a total of 19 questions, so this might be a two-parter. Sorry if it is. Alright, so number one, favorite Christmas movie. Um, I've been watching a lot of favorite Christmas movies, but I guess my all-time favorite Christmas movie would be Elf, or, um, yeah, I would say Elf. I don't know, I, I have a whole bunch, and now watching new Christmas movies this year, I kind of have a whole bunch now to choose from. Number two, are you on the naughty or nice list? Hmm. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll just have to... Dad, um, I guess we'll just have to see to hear. I'm naughty. Thanks, Dad. Okay, number three, any, un, um, number three, any Christmas photos? We know you have some. Okay, yes, I do have some, and I'll just get close to show you guys. Okay, I only found one. Like, we have so much more, but they're in storage. So, these are just the two that I found on my Christmas tree, and I know you can't see my face right now. Um, this is the only Christmas one I have of me. It looks like this, and this camera does not autofocus, so it's really blurry. And this was just me when I was a baby, baby's first Christmas. I had a Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad bib on, like, it's crazy. And then, this was not, this was just a photo in 2005 of me. I just found it. I mean... That hair was totally not working out. I had a little short, like, crop bang, bangs type look. So, yeah. So, these were my only two photos that I found of myself. But I do have, like, another one, um, another, like, a whole bunch in storage. So, yeah. Next question. Number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, I have. And I'm super excited because I hope this year we will be able to have one. When we used to live in Florida, there was, of course, no, like, white Christmas. But when we lived in um, Kansas City, 
Christmas is in Michigan, oh my gosh, there was like white Christmas every Christmas, and it was just really fun. I enjoy that. I don't like the idea of I can go swimming um, on Christmas Day. Like, I don't know, like living in Florida, like I said, you know, it was just crazy. So I definitely like the cold weather. I feel like that fits Christmas. Um, number five, where do I spend my holidays? That depends on every year if we have like, now that we live somewhere different where we're not as close as family, um, it's gonna be a little bit different, but we are gonna be spending it with um, my grandparents and um, they have like a cabin and stuff and like a, uh, like a cold state and stuff, which I can't say, but um, we'll definitely be spending it there I think this Christmas. And so it just depends on what, um, you know, what everybody's doing. So um, number six, play or sing your favorite holiday song. Well, um, that's a hard one. I like Last Christmas. I feel like that's just a, such a typical song. And I like that one. I like Santa Claus is coming to town. I like Deck the Halls. No. Oh, I like the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, that's playing on the TV right now. It's cute. Um, I like all Christmas songs. They're just, you know, some are peaceful, some are crazy, you know. Some are kissing me right now. I'm sorry. Okay, number... Seven, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Yes, we usually do. I try to keep this a tradition with me and my parents. Um, just getting, opening the pajamas and sleeping in our Christmassy pajamas, you know, make sure they had to be Christmas appropriate. Um, so yeah, I would just say opening up Christmas presents. No, no, that came out wrong. Opening up pajamas on Christmas Eve and that's all. Um, number... That was weird. Number bum, 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 eight. Can you name all of San, um, Santa's reindeer? Oh my gosh, this is a hard one. Okay, so there's Comet, Rudolph, Donner, Blitzen, Vixen. Really? Hold on one second. I'm gonna get my quesadillas out of the oven. And while I do that, I will try to be thinking of, are there seven reindeer? I think so. I feel like there are. Oh, those smell so heavenly. Okay, next question. No. I was still on, um, okay, so let's see. I don't know. I think I can only name five. Rudolph, Calmer, Calmer, no, Comet. Donner, Blitzen, Vixen, um, I don't know, I you can't. Forgot the most important. My mom says I forgot the most important ones. Which are those, mom? Rudolph, Rudolph. I already said that. Okay, number nine, what holiday tradition are you looking forward to? Oh! Um, just watching Christmas movies with me and my parents, of course, we've done, like, we've already done so much Christmas movies, but definitely I always look forward to every year, drinking hot chocolate, baking in the kitchen, and, you know, with my mom and stuff, so just those, and spending time with family. Number 10, is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's fake. Um, I like real Christmas trees better just because of the fresh pine smell, you know? But um, this is our Christmas tree that we've always had, so I guess we kind of have to just use it. Um, so it's a fake Christmas tree, but I like real better. Number 11, what is your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? All-time holiday, all-time favorite holiday food is green bean casserole because I wait every single Thanksgiving and Christmas to get that. Or to eat that because, I don't know, my mom just kind of doesn't fix it, you know, just like a main meal. I guess it's just supposed to be Christmas attire or whatever. Um, no, that's gross. That's wrong thing I'm talking about. Um, so I would just say green bean casserole is my all-time favorite food and ham. Um, my mom does this kind of ham where she puts Pepsi in it and it's like sweet and it's just like juicy and oh so good. Oh, um, speaking of the song, this is also one of my favorite songs. It's called Santa Baby. And I really like that song. Chong? I like that. Chong. I like that song. Um, holiday sweet treat? Um, I don't know. I don't have a holiday sweet treat.
think. Maybe it's sugar cookies. Peppermint bark. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mom. Uh, peppermint bark. It's like, you can get it anywhere, basically, and it's got peppermint on the top, and it's square, or it comes in, like, long, rectangular one thing, and it's got chocolate on the bottom and peppermint on the top, and it tastes oh so good. It's so delicious. I haven't gotten any this year, sadly, but, um, okay. but it tastes, oh, my gosh, it just, it tastes heavenly. It really does. Um, number 12, show us your tackiest attire. I'm wearing my tacky attire. And normally I just like to wear like Christmas sweaters or something like that. But this was just the only thing I could find at the moment. Number 17, um, well, I totally skipped. Oh, um, our, sorry. Number 13, what would you, what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Oh my gosh, this is like the easiest question in the world. It would be somewhere where it's really snowy and just be like in a cabin or whatever, like in the mountains where it's just snowing and it's just nice and cool and you like can just uh, cuddle up by the fire with like a blanket and hot, you know, cocoa or whatever. Um, so it'd definitely be somewhere where it's chilly, like I feel like Colorado or something like that. Maybe just somewhere like that. Um, 14, does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? No, we don't have any special, like, my mom makes banana nut bread, but I feel like that's not too special, and I don't really like that that much, just, I don't know, nuts, I don't really like nuts too much, but I don't know, I, that's a hard one, I don't think we have any. Number 15, are you a pro, present, rapper, or fail miserably? Okay, I feel like this is a really hard one because um, I really hope, I, I, I don't know, hold on one second, guys. I gotta see how much time I have on here. Oh, 12 minutes, perfectly fine. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so um, I was just saying, I forgot what I was saying. Um, oh, are you a pro present rapper or do you feel miserable? Ignore the clock in the background, that goes off. Um, this one's a hard one because I feel like if I have the time and patience for it, I really clock why do you do this to me? Um, I feel like if I have the time and patience for it, I'll sit down and want to make it nice and pretty, but most of the time I just want to kind of just put it together and, you know, slap on a bow and it's done. But, um, it depends on, like, if it's for somebody really special, I like to take the time and wrap it myself and stuff. But I feel like it's pointless to make it all pretty and stuff when it's just going to get ripped apart and not really saved and stuff like that. So it, it just kind of depends. And I want to do, um, even though I don't really like wrapping that much, I want to do a um, how-to, like, um, wrapping your presents, all different types of presents and stuff. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this this year. I'm not sure. But, um, we'll have to see. Number 16. Most memorable holiday moment. Okay. Hands down, last year's Christmas. Okay, so my dad has always wanted a Corvette for Christmas. No, no, no. Let me back that up. He's always wanted a Corvette. Like, he just, he loves those type of cars. And this is a miniature Corvette. I'll get up to show you guys. Because it kind of has to do with the story. Okay, so it looks like this. And I have no idea. This we got this like a while ago. Like it's, it's just yeah. So you get the point. It's really small. And so one Christmas, I'm like, hmm, I have an idea. So he was really begging for like a Corvette, and of course, you know, it's it costs like way too much. So of course, we couldn't get it. So I decided to take this, and he's like, he was joking around, and he's like, oh, I hope when I wake up in the morning, there's gonna be a Corvette with a bow on top, you know, in our driveway, and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. So I took this, I put on a bow, and I set it in the driveway. And, of course, like, you can see our other cars, and then there's this little tiny dinky car with a bow on it in our driveway. And, um, so we put them, uh, after we opened up a few presents, I'm like, Dad, come on, I gotta go show you a present. So we walk outside, and he stands there, and he looks at this miserable little car with a bow on it. And I know that was kind of mean to do, but I, it was just, the look on his face was just, just priceless. So that was one of my most memorable, like, um, Christmas, or holiday, whatchamacallit, holiday moment. Um, number 17, what 
many of you realize the truth about Santa? Okay, I'm gonna be totally honest, and I believed in Santa till I was like, what? 10 or 11 years old? I, I honestly still want to believe in the magic and stuff with Santa Claus, but I know it's like, do I come in foot?